Hi, I'm Laura from Igloo Vision, and today we're going to show you how to view Google Street View in an immersive workspace. Google Street View is arguably one of the most useful and most interesting repositories on the internet for showing 360 images. So one way we can make it even more impressive is to show it in a 360 space like this with your colleagues. First, I'm going to show you how to view Google Street View in the immersive workspace. As you probably know, Google Street View is a web-based application and we are able to display it today in our workspace using Igloo Web, which is our 360 web browser. So it takes any website and displays it in 360. So I'm currently on Igloo Home, which is our interface where you can see we've got the buttons around us on the walls to click to any application. So I'm just going to click on the Street View app here and you can see it loads on the walls around me. I'm in just a random location here somewhere in Scotland. So I'm going to show you now how we can travel through different locations to find different places. So as you can see, this is kind of in sync with what we're showing on the walls. So I'm going to move forward and you can see it's updated in real time around us. And we can use the map to zoom in and out on different places and then again see this on the, reflected around us in the space. So then we can zoom out on the map here at the bottom and we can jump to different countries, locations, uh, anywhere just by zooming in on different places and then clicking somewhere to view. So you can see how easy that is to get it up and running. So now we're going to look at some of the extra things we can do. So to save a location, we are going to choose exactly where we want to save. So the location I'm at is fine. We're going to click the little menu up here and we're just going to add that to our locations and you can see it has been saved here. We can also then edit and delete them and resave different things. We can rename them as well if we want to call them a specific name. So switching between these locations really easily means that you can do this whilst in a meeting, you're not getting distracted by searching for different locations, so you can prepare these ahead of time and then easily switch between them during the meeting. So the next thing we're going to do is show how we can set up a slideshow so we can travel between different locations really easily. So to do this, I'm going to click on the slideshow feature up in this top menu and you'll see it brings up a list of locations. So you can also see as well that these are pinned throughout. So I'm going to add a new location slightly further up the road and to save that, all I'm going to do is press add here. So you can see that's now pinned up here. We can also uh, remove and delete locations from here. So maybe I don't want this pin anymore and it's easily gone. And then we can also set the timer to display different seconds. So it'll show the speed that we're traveling through. So this would be really great in a meeting, say if you were having a planning meeting, for example, and you needed to show the route from two locations. So you'd easily be able to do this, again, be able to set it up ahead of time before your meeting so that you're not distracted during the meeting itself. So this little controller here, the delay button, will change the amount of se seconds between each slide. So we're going to set this to 10 and we're going to press play. And it could give you time to talk about your locations whilst they're on the screen. Maybe you want to discuss the houses around you before you move on to the next location and then this should just update in real time like it does here. So I've just showed you how to run a slideshow, so now I'm going to show you how to navigate between two different locations. So we're going to switch to the navigation button just here and we're going to choose our start location. So I'm just going to zoom in and pick somewhere to start and just save that with my pin. And I'm going to zoom back out and pick somewhere for the route to end and again just save that with the pin. So you'll see it's now brought up a map, so we can navigate between these locations. Again, I can change the delay in seconds to show how long I want in between each image. And then we can just hit play, and it's going to take us through that route. So if I wanted to slow down that transition, I can just pause it, change the time, and hit play again, and it'll just show me that a little bit slower. So we can also use this using our phones and it works exactly the same as it does on here, but again, just on your mobile. So all you need to do for this is to get a link and anyone within the space can use this link to update it in real time. So you can have multiple people working on the same thing. So this then should update as I'm clicking around. Like you can see, it updates behind me and we're able to move to different locations, zoom in, zoom out, save locations, 
set a route exactly as we did before, but just on your mobile, making it even easier to use the space. So viewing Street View in our immersive room is just one of the ways you can enhance team meetings. There are so many other ways that we would love to tell you about. So if you'd like to learn more, you could take a look at this video. You could visit igloovision.com and of course, make sure you're subscribed.